In this video, we will create isometric grid, three actions to apply needed dimension in one click, and also will create shading palette. This will take a few minutes of your time now, but will save hours of your time in the future, because you will create isometric template document and won't come back to these steps anymore. You'll have everything prepared, set it up and ready to use. Today I will show you three awesome tips that will make your isometric illustrating easy and time saving. You're watching TNT Tutorials. Let's move on. First of all, create a new document. Click on Web, enter 800 here and 800 here. Click on Create. Right now we will create action for grid. In previous tutorial I showed you two ways to create isometric grid. I'm going to create action for second one, where we use grid 2. But if you want to create grid using lines, just create action like this. Click here on Window and select Actions. Click here to create a new set and name it Isometric. Now within this set let's create new action. Rename it to Grid. After this zoom out. Go for Grid 2, it's over here. Click Enter. Enter 300 here and 300 here. Then draw a rectangle like this. Go to Properties panel. In Stroke select all 25 points and change opacity to 40%. Then go for Scale tool, it's over here. Select it and press Enter. Enter this value in this field. And click OK. Now go for Shear tool, it's over here, click Enter, and Shear to 30 degrees. After this go for Rotate tool, it's over here, double click on Rotate tool, and rotate to minus 30 degrees. Click OK. Then press V for Selection tool, deselect this grid, go for Rectangle tool, and draw a rectangle from corner to corner. Then press Ctrl A to select all these objects. Right click, make clipping mask. So our action is done. Click here on Actions and click here on Stop Recording. You can check our action, delete this grid, click here and click on Play. As you can see, it works very well. So now it's time to create action for each dimension. Let's begin with the left side, create new action and rename it to left. And first of all press stop recording now. Because we will make a few setups before we start recording our action. We don't need these steps in our action. I mean that we need to swap fill and stroke, change fill to any color you want. Just to have a better view. Then go for Rectangle tool, for example, you can pick Ellipse tool if you want, draw a rectangle here. I will move this rectangle outside our border, duplicate this, because we will use this figure to create another actions. And now, click here, begin recording. We are making almost the same steps as for grid, but we will enter another values. First of all go for Scale tool, press Enter. And this value remains the same. Click OK. Then go for Shear tool, press Enter and add minus here. So we should have minus 30 degrees. Click OK. Then double click on Rotate tool. Enter minus 30 degrees here. And click OK. Now click Stop Recording. We've created action for left side. So now we'll make only the same for top view, delete this object, paste this object here, create new action, rename it to top, click on record, select scale tool, click enter, enter this value here, it's always the same for this object. Then go for shear tool, press enter, enter 30 degrees here. Click OK, then double click on Rotate tool, 
enter minus 30 degrees here, click OK, and then press stop recording. So you can delete this object, paste another one here, and there's only one action left to create for right side. So click here on create new action, rename it to right, click on record, go for scale 2 again, enter, this value remains the same, OK, then go for shear 2, press enter, we'll shear it to 30 degrees also, click OK, then double click on rotate 2, and rotate it to 30 degrees, click OK, click on stop recording, and we have these actions done, so you can try them out. Let's try left action, then let's try top action, and let's try right action. They all work very well, so I will delete them. And the last tip I want to show you today is how to create blending palette. To do this, create a rectangle. We don't need to record actions this time. Copy your rectangle and apply some darker color here. For this I will select some brighter color, something like this, then select them both, go to Object, Blend, Blend Options, select this one here, and in specified steps enter 1. This is our case, in some cases you might need many steps. Ok, let me show you 3 steps for this time, so you could have a better understanding of what we are doing. So click on OK, then go to Object, Blend, Make. As you can see, Illustrator automatically created gradient from bright color to dark color. We always need this when we create an isometry because we need some bright part, some darker part and some dark part. This blending palette makes your life easier because you select only one color for light part, only the darkest part and some middle part creates automatically. So if you need more steps, you can simply enter a bigger value in specified steps. You can also deselect this blending palette, click somewhere on the workspace, press A for direct selection tool, select this rectangle, change color to something like this, and you can see that Illustrator automatically blends this bright yellow color to dark green. You can change this color also, and you can have something like this. I will delete this rectangle. You can place it to side. Rotate it like this. Make it smaller. And then when you will work inside of this workspace, you can duplicate this palette and make a lot of different combinations. In this isometric illustrator tutorial, I show you three must know tips and if you learned something new from this video, make sure to subscribe to TNT Tutorials right now. Just click the subscribe button below this video. Also, if you want to get new cool tutorials from TNT, make sure to click the bell icon. Now it's your turn. Did you know that you can make your isometric illustrating faster with actions? And do you like this idea of creating template document and will you use it? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now. In next tutorial, I will show you how to work with all this stuff, combine it with 3D effects in Adobe Illustrator and simply have fun creating anything you want. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.